practice will help us to be perfect. We will do sum more. Find the sum. We are given two sets of numbers. How to add? You will add the ones place first and then go to the tens. Any number plus zero is the number itself. All these we need to remember. So, let's go on to do sum more. Find the sum. Sixty plus twenty five. Fifty two plus thirty seven. Forty four plus ten. Sixty eight plus twenty. Seventy four plus twenty one. Eighty plus seventeen. Seven plus eleven. Thirty three plus. Twenty Now we have some numbers given to you to find the set of numbers sixty plus twenty five seventy four plus find the sum of this set of numbers. When we add, we must add the ones before going to the tens. Ones First, and then we go to the tens. So add the ones first, then the tens. Now find the sum of sixty and twenty-five. Now how will you do that? Sixty and twenty-five. Look at the. Let's look at the ones place. You have zero in the ones place, five in the ones place. Six. Plus twenty-five. So any number plus zero is the number itself. So five plus zero is five. We must remember that five plus zero is five. Any number plus zero is the number itself. Now we go to the tens place. In the tens place, we have six tens and two tens. Six ten, seven ten, eight ten. Six plus two. Eight, so you have eight tens. All right. Now let's look at the find the sum of fifty-two and thirty-seven. You have fifty-two and thirty-seven here. Now what is seven plus two? Seven runs plus two one seven. After seven, eight nine. Seven plus two nine. Very good. So seven runs plus two ones. Nine ones, excellent. Now we look at the tens place. We have five tens and three tens. So after five, say seven eight. 
What is five tens plus three tens? Good. Eight tens. Good. Now let's look at here you have find the sum of 44 and 10. Now we look at the ones place. What do we have? In the ones place we have four ones and zero one. Any number plus zero, the number itself. So four plus zero, four. Very good. So you have four ones. Now you look at the tens place. You have four tens and one ten. Four plus one, five. You have five tens. Five tens. Very good. Find the sum of 68 and 20. 68 and 20. Let's look at the ones place. Ones place you have 8 and 0. 8 plus 0, 8. Any number plus 0 is the number itself, 8. Then you have here 6 tens and 2 tens. 6 plus 2, 8. So you have 8 tens, 6 tens plus 2 tens make 8 tens. Very good. Next. Next you have here find the sum of 74 and 21. Find the sum of 74 and 21. Let's look at the ones place. You have 4 ones and 1 one. 4 ones and 1 one. That will give you five ones, four ones, and one one is five ones. Let's look at the tens. You have seven tens and two tens. Seven plus two, nine. You have nine tens. So sum of, finding the sum of 74 and 21, you get 95. Next you have, find the sum of 80 plus 17. Look at the ones place, you have 0 and 7. 7 plus 0, 7 itself. Any number plus 0, the number itself. Okay, so you have 7 in the ones place. 7 plus 0, it's 7 itself. Now, 8 tens and 1 1 make 9 tens. Very good. The sum of 80 plus 17 is 97. Look at this number. Find the sum of 67 and 11. 67 and 11. Let's look at the ones place. You have 7 ones and 1 one. 7 plus 1 ones. 7 ones plus 1 one is 7 plus 1. 8. Yes. You have 8. 7 plus 1. 8. So you have 8 ones. Now you have 6 tens in the tens place. And one ten in the tens place. Six tens plus one ten. Very good. Seven tens. So find the sum of sixty-seven plus eleven. Seventy-eight. Now you have find the sum of thirty-three and twenty. In the tens ones place, you have three ones and zero ones. Three plus zero. 3 itself. Very good. Any number plus 0 is that number itself. Now you have 3 tens and 2 tens. 3 plus 2, 5 tens. Find the sum of 33 plus 20 is 53. We learned today to find the sum of two sets of numbers. Now, we always add the ones first. Any number plus 0 is the number itself. 